What is up everybody? It's Ben here with SRKCycles.com and today I've got a 2015 Triumph Bonneville T100. Let's take a quick walk around this thing so we can see it up close and personal. Starting back here in the back, you can see that the uh, rear tire is uh, worn down just a little bit. I'm gonna call it maybe like 40 or 50 percent. I think it'll be good to go for any kind of inspection um, and definitely has a lot of miles left on it, but it is not brand new, so know that. You can see the uh, got the dual exhaust coming out the back there. They call that the pea shooter style. Uh, so that is that. The uh, rear fender here with the reflector on the bottom. And then you got your uh, your brake light up here and your two turn signals and your license plate mount. Um, Triumph did a pretty good job, I think, of trying to go back to this like retro look. And uh, I think they did a good job. So that's that. Got your turn signal there. Have your uh, your rear springs there. As you can see, you got the uh, the chrome chain guard in there. There's the exhaust on this side. There's your passenger peg there and your rider peg there and then your rear brake. Um, there's your one piece uh, seat there, kind of got the flat seat going on. And you got the Bonneville T100 there on the side cover. So there's that. Um, this bike is fuel injected. They do this whole like uh, fake carburetor thing to give it that retro look but it is uh, fuel injected uh, with like a fast idle uh, on the side. It looks like a choke. Of course you got your uh, chrome engine covers, got your motor here and the parallel twin. There you can see your exhaust coming out the headers. Good look in here at the motor. Um, I really like this color. I have to admit this is uh, of the available options. This is probably the one that I like the best. So you got your like side cover here, like uh, rubber protection here to the tank on the side. And you got this like almost sunset orange or sunset red look in with the black. I think it's a really, really good look. All the paint on this tank is really nice. Of course you have your Triumph badge there. Spin this thing around. You can see the, uh, got the dual gauges up top with your mirrors there and there and the handlebars. You got your headlight there with your two turn signals. Again, continue with that kind of that retro look with the, with like the bubbled out turn signal. As you can see, the fork tubes are in nice shape. Good to go there. Jump over to the other side. There you go. All the way down, you get your front brake here. Of course, you have that spoke front wheel. Um, and your front fender here is in nice shape. Paint's in good shape. I don't see any marks that I uh, need to point out. I was trying to, try to find something, and I could not. Got your uh, front tire there. Front tire's about the same shape as the back tire. Plenty of miles left on that bad boy. Uh, come over to the uh, tank on this side. And just want to make sure before I point that out, there is a little mark on the tank here. I just want to see if it would come off my finger. Uh, so right here above the, uh, above the badge, also right in here, you can see a little mark. Not sure what would have caused that. I'm sure that would buff out, but it did not just come out with my finger. And then you have just a slight, small little scratch right there above my pointer finger. Uh, other than that, the tank is in nice shape on this side as it is on the other side. Here you go, it's got that fake carburetor and you see this thing looks like a choke. It does pull out. It's actually just a fast idle. It is a fuel injected motorcycle. I'm going to get you in on the, the motor here. And there's the, uh, there's the rest of it. Got your rider peg, got your shifter, got your passenger peg there. You even got the Triumph logo on there. See your swing arm in there. It does have a center stand. Oh no, I'm sorry. That is just a side stand. There's your kickstand. And there's the exhaust on this side. There's your rear brake in there and that rear spoke wheel. Jump up on top, got the chrome, chrome grab bar there. Seat's in nice shape, passenger seat, rider seat, all in one piece, um, all in good shape. Have no seams that are bursting out or, or uh, coming apart or anything like that. It's all in really, really nice shape. So there's that. Top of the tank's in good shape. Got just a light little swirl in here that I want to point out. Let's see someone maybe just clean it with a, a rag or something that was just a little bit too abrasive. Got your uh, fuel cap there, your clutch, 
All controls here of your mirror, your throttle, controls here, and your mirror over here. This one does have the dual gauges, which is nice. Kitchen is up here on the left hand side. Let's turn it on. There you go, 4,034 miles. There'll be a few more than that after the test drive, so make sure you check out the test drive of this bike uh, if you want to see it out on the road. Um, let's fire it up. Oop. Have to hold the clutch in. Turn signals work. Let's get your front signal on that side. Front signal on this side. Jump back in the back. There's that side, this side. And there is that side. Alright, guys, like I said, this is a uh, 2015 Triumph Bonneville T100. Shade over 4,000 miles on it. If you're interested in this bike, make sure you check out the test drive video on YouTube and check out the bike at srkcycles.com. Thanks so much for watching.